Hello everybody, this is Eric Bertram with Apex CCTV. Welcome back to our training video series on uh, doing port forwarding sur for surveillance equipment. Um, this video will cover how to find out whether or not your customer uh, is set up on the internet with their router using DHCP or a static IP address. Um, hopefully they're on a static IP address, more than likely they're not, um, and more than likely when you ask them they won't have a clue. Um, we've covered how to how to set static IP addresses and, and all kinds of other stuff in prior video series so I'll skip that and I'll just give you the basic scenario you've you've uh, done port forwarding you've got their DVR or their IP camera set up um, correctly so that currently port forts are porting correctly and if you browse to their public IP address um, then you get right into their camera or their digital video recorder uh, the scenario is that if they're on a dynamic public IP address with their internet service provider, that address will change eventually, and they won't be able to find their cameras anymore, and they'll call you and ask you about it, and you have to explain to them how to find their public IP address, and it, it becomes a big pain. So, um, a, as I've stated before, my recommendation is that if they're stuck with a dynamic IP address, you want to go ahead and set up dynamic DNS for them. Um, but you do need to know first whether you need to go to the trouble, because if they have a static IP address, just give them the static IP address and call it a day. So what we're going to do is log into our customer's router. I've got a simple one set up here in the office for this purpose. Um, this is kind of an oddball router. It's a little cheapy one that we use here in the office because it's real similar to the ones we come across with our customers. Um, this particular router is right here on the home page. Uh, this right here is what you're looking for or something along these lines. Internet IP address. And this one says, get dynamically from ISP. That means that I'm on a DHCP server, or the router rather is on a DHCP server, and that its IP address could change over time and cause you problems. Uh, what you want to see is that, that it's using this setting, use static IP address. Um, that means you don't need to mess with, with a dynamic DNS service. But if they're, if they're configured this way, to get it dynamically from the internet service provider, um, then you want to want to address that with a dynamic DNS service so that they don't have to keep tabs on it. Uh, typically, also there's going to be a, a page in a in a router somewhere. It's usually under standard settings. Sometimes it'll be under advanced settings, or sometimes it'll be under uh, a setup wizard type thing like this. Um, of course, in our router, uh, this stuff, like I mentioned earlier, is under the basic page, so I, I'm already there. I found it. Um, one place to, to look for this kind of information is to go to Google and search for router guides, so if you can't find it, um, there's a lot of great services out there. Um, uh, one of the ones that we use a lot is called portforward.com, so if you click here, uh, and I've showed you guys this in probably about a dozen videos so far, but I can't reiterate how useful it is, go to the router list. <coughs> Um, pick an application, so like a product we use a lot is GeoVision. Um, whoops. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess I should pick my router first. So, um, mine is down here in the WG series somewhere. I think it's uh, V9, uh, WGR614 V9. So I can click here. Um, this is just a guide to my router. Um, it's specifically, it's a guide to for port forwarding, so I can now um, find my application on this list. Uh, I want to do GeoVision webcam server. Uh, so here it is. So now I'm specifically at a guide to do port forwarding for my webcam. And some of these guides uh, will show you how to find, um, find the WAN information. So take a look on the site. It's extremely useful. Um, but again, just to reiterate, um, let me go back into the router. Um, in this case, you missed it the first time. You're looking for one of three things. Usually it'll be basic settings, or it'll be a setup wizard, or it'll say WAN setup. Uh, one of those three places is in almost any router and will certainly contain uh, the internet IP address information that you need. Thanks everybody for watching our video. We hope you've enjoyed it. Please check us out on the web at www.apexcctv.com. Have a great night.